Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I have another good video in store for you where I'm going to be sharing all of my current favorite beauty finds, tools, makeup, etc. And I'm actually going to be showing you like how I use them and incorporate them into my day-to-day -day routine too. So it's kind of like a little follow along where I show you how I use my favorite makeup products, my favorite beauty tools, lots and lots of good things that I'm going to be sharing with you. It's if you love all things beauty and style and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the bell. That way you're notified when my new videos come out. And then I also share things on my Instagram and in my Instagram stories as well. So you can come hang out with me on there and get more behind the scenes and day-to-day -day life. Some of these things are actually items that I've shared with you before, but I love them so much that I felt so compelled to share them again because they're literally things that I use day in and day out. So they are that good that I'm sharing it twice, maybe even three times here on my YouTube channel. And a few others are brand new items and things that I am absolutely loving and feel like the entire world needs to have one of to step up their beauty regimen with. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive right into my favorite beauty finds. It is unusually cold here in Texas today, and I'm half thankful because it gives me the opportunity to wear my new favorite trench coat. I actually ordered these in two colors. I have it in this camel color and gray, um, and I was really looking forward to that because, it, like I mentioned in one of my last videos, it's one of my favorite fall trends, although it doesn't even feel like fall. It's 44 degrees outside right now, which is basically like a freezing cold January day here in Texas. So Mother Nature is clearly confused. Anyways, I figured since I was going to do a roundup of some of my favorite current beauty products that I would just kind of take you on a little uh, BTS uh, shopping at Ulta with me. So I have to get foundation for sure. I've been using this, I think it's Physicians Formula brand from Target because I ran out of my shape tape forever ago. And the Physicians Formula, it's been great, but I'm more of a full coverage kind of girl and it is definitely a lighter coverage. So I'm ready to switch back to my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and just get back to my full coverage kind of ways. So I'm definitely getting foundation and I might pick up another um, item or two. I love the Tarte lip paint and that's something that I haven't had or worn in a while, so I might get some lipstick as well. Really need some new lip gloss too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, it's always weird wearing my mask and like trying to talk into a camera, so I may sound a little bit muffled, but I'm going to take y'all along inside Ulta with me. Okay, so they've got everything boarded up. Normally, you would be able to like pull out the testers and actually try it on your skin color, so going to be a little bit interesting trying to find the right color <laughs> for me because I honestly don't remember what um, shade I had last time. Okay, so it was pretty disappointing in there. <laughs> I uh, normally like, I think of my last beauty haul that I did, I like showed you all of my favorite Tarte products and like walked you through some of my favorite, just like Ulta and beauty products, beauty products in general. But I went to the other side of where the foundation was and there was nothing in stock. I don't know if they're still like trying to play catch up from COVID or what. Um, but so I just grabbed my my regular, I got my Shape Tape foundation and I'm praying and hoping that this is the right shade. And then I also got some Shape Tape concealer because I ran out of this at the same time as well. And for those of you who haven't watched any of my beauty videos in the past, let me just tell you how amazing this concealer is. It is the number one concealer in the US and they literally sell a bottle of this every 12 seconds because it's that good. I was actually watching The Real Housewives of New York the other night and the makeup artist that was doing one of the ladies makeup 
um, for an event was using, wait, I think I'm, is this the right bottle? Oh yeah, this is the right bottle. They were actually using the Shape Tape Concealer um, as they were putting the makeup on one of the ladies. So I got a really light shade of this because I actually use it as a highlighter. So I'll do it under my eyes. I will do it like right here in my T-zone and then at my chin and right here just to kind of help um, contour the lips a little bit. But such an amazing concealer. Definitely between this and the Shape Tape Foundation. I'll pull that one out too just so you can see what the bottle looks like. These are, if you're a makeup person, these are the ones that you need because they are just phenomenal. I ended up going with um, a medium golden for this shade. I've only had the medium sand and the medium neutral. So I'm really um, interested to see if this is going to be the right color for me. I do have like more of a golden undertone or just golden tones in my skin in general. So I'm hoping um, that it is, but who knows what it's going to change to now that I, it's freezing outside and I can't keep my tan anymore. But I also got one thing that I haven't tried of theirs. I was going to get the lip paint, like I mentioned, but I actually ended up getting uh, this lip gloss and again they had everything like blocked off like you couldn't you couldn't try anything or like test anything and um you couldn't touch anything unless you were going to buy it so I guess I'm that just shows you how long it's been since I've been in Ulta because I had no idea and that was like a whole new experience for me but I thought this was a really pretty uh shade it is called double tap um, I like that it's a gloss. I'm going to try it over the lipstick that I have on right now, which is actually a lip paint of Tarte's. It's a really thick gloss, which I like. I'm going to pull my mirror down so I can see what I'm doing. Hang on. It's a really pretty soft color too. Definitely a very good, if you are a fan of the thicker gloss instead of like the um, thinner that you have to constantly reapply, I would say this consistency is really good for this and I really like the color of it. My latest skincare routine that I've been trying, it's actually completely from Amazon and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's very affordable, which I love, and it doesn't have any harmful or toxic ingredients in it, which is another huge bonus for me. But most importantly, it actually makes my skin look and feel amazing. The cleanser is something to definitely get used to because it has more of like it's actually called a gel to milk cleanser. So it doesn't actually like foam up or anything, which was very hard for me to get used to. But once I did, and once you dry your face off, it just leaves your skin feeling so incredible. And as you saw, I used one of my favorite um, microfiber cloths to dry my face off. This is also good to use at the end of the day too, after you wash your face to help get any remaining makeup or residue that's still on your face as well and just keep your face super clean. So this is the vitamin C glow serum and it truly truly does exactly what it, the title says and it just leaves your face super glowy. I love what it does for my complexion. It just kind of evens everything out. Okay so you just need, um, I think this one is, I stopped measuring it out just five drops of serum that you put on your face and a little goes a long way because it is more of a thick serum so it doesn't absorb as quickly as some of the other ones or like the um this is the uh hydro power serum with hyaluronic acid that it comes with as well and i do this in the evening but this one absorbs so much quicker so I only like to use like right around five drops for my face and it takes a bit for it to actually absorb in. So I like to do this before, um, like while I'm getting ready, right after I brush my teeth when I still have time before I have to put my makeup on. 
Another one of my favorite recent beauty finds are these facial cupping um, suction cups from Amazon. They come in a set and they have different sizes and they are incredible. It's essentially just like a facial massage for your face and it can help kind of increase circulation, promote collagen production, and it's supposed to be really good for the fine lines and wrinkles, especially the ones that you typically get like around your eyes or right at the 11s. This one is another one of my favorite beauty products because it is amazing for so many different things. It uses microcurrents and it can actually help to drive in your skincare products into your face or your skin. Um, but you can also use it as a blackhead scrubber as well. So it has some different settings that you can use. Um, it also works as a toner with the microcurrents to help kind of tone your skin and muscles. So I have it set to so I have it set to cleansing, and you literally use it like a spatula to go over areas that are known to have. Um, just blackheads or clogged pores, typically your nose, your T-zone, and maybe even like your chin area, like right here. All right, I just came down to my office. This is where I typically do my makeup and my hair just because my bathroom counter is covered in skincare products and there's just no room for my makeup up there. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup and I wanted to share some of my favorite makeup beauty products with you, starting with these little sponges. They are amazing. And they work so well to just kind of give a really flawless finish with your foundation. So this is the Shape Tape foundation that I shared with y'all. It is so amazing. I love the full coverage that it has. So I just put three little squirts on the makeup sponge and then I literally just dab it all over my face. And you can see just by dabbing and patting, you don't wanna drag, especially if you're dragging down because that is not good. Um, and it just kind of blends everything in so well. This is my first time using this color, by the way. Remember when I shared at Ulta that I wasn't sure if this color was gonna work out, and um, it looks like it's a pretty good match. I might have to do some um, blending with like my powder foundation just to kind of give it a darker look. So you can see it gives just like a really good finish. I always go over it after I've um, rubbed my foundation in with just a flathead foundation brush just like this one just to make sure I get all the nooks and crannies. And then I move on to contour and that's where the Shape Tape Concealer comes into place and this stuff is amazing. It is like a godsend. After I put the concealer on, I let it sit and bake for just a few minutes, um, just to kind of like make sure that it is getting into my skin. And I feel like it just helps when you're going back through and smoothing it out as well. I guess you could say this is one of my favorite beauty products as well. It's the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer, and it is amazing for contour if you are a contour person, or even if you just wanted to do it along your cheekbones as like a liquid bronzer along there, it would work there just as well but I love it for contouring I use it under my cheekbones I use it on my forehead I use it around my lips and I will show you how I use it on my nose as well so I just go along the side of my nose and you can even do this with powder bronzer as well I just really love the liquid. I think that it just goes on so seamlessly and you go down to the tip of your nose and you just draw like a little circle around the tip of your nose. And by the way, I am like no, by no means a makeup professional. These are just things that I've taught myself in my years of 
putting makeup on my face. This is where the small tip of the makeup sponge comes in handy because I actually use this little side to, you can see where it's more pointed, I actually use this little side to just kind of blend in the highlighter. So the blunt side is for foundation and then the small pointy side is for highlighter. And then I take a makeup brush, typically, to an angled makeup brush to blend in the bronzer in the larger areas, like my forehead and my under my cheekbones. I guess this is turning into more of a beauty tutorial than like my current beauty favorites, but it all really plays off of each other because I'm showing you how I use my favorite beauty products. So it's like a two for one kind of deal. All right, one of the hair tools that I wanna share with you is this three barrel curling iron. This is day two, maybe day three, um, of these curls in my hair. I'm not going to go through it. I've actually done an entire tutorial with this curling iron. It's very easy to use. You literally just start at the root and just work your way down. Um, but I love the more subtle kind of loose curl that it has after two or three days. So I don't really want to go back through and like try to fix that. Um, I like that it is kind of like an effortless um, looking curl. So I'm going to leave it like it is. But I wanted to share this curling iron because I love it. It's such a great and easy tool to use and as you can see the curl lasts for a while so if you're someone who doesn't wash your hair every day like me then you can use this and know that your hair is still going to look good on day two and day three um, and just kind of have that effortless pretty wave and while we're on the topic of hair tools i want to share this one again because it is probably my favorite blow dryer. I don't even use an actual blow dryer anymore. I only use this blow dryer brush. And you can't tell from the way my hair looks now, but it's actually really good for providing body and volume, especially at the roots, if you are someone who has fine thin hair that likes to lay flat, like mine. So it comes in super handy for that. And it's just a really easy way to blow dry your hair. And you can even actually style it with this um, blow dry brush as well. You can curl the ends in or flip them out um, and create a really pretty loose curl with this as well when you are blow drying your hair. So it's almost like a two in one blow dryer. Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing one of my favorite Amazon beauty tools with you. And this is like mm, a godsend. I can't even speak highly enough about this device. So I'm gonna show you how I use it, what I do, um, and just how amazing it is overall. So it has like this little base that you comes with a cord and you just plug it into the wall and then it has different attachments that you can use for it so like this one is for your hair and for your scalp this one is to cover your entire face this is the mushroom head um i'm gonna use that one actually so i'll leave that out and then it also has some for um, smaller areas, like if you're targeting around your eyes or around your mouth, it's also great to use for if you're targeting like breakouts and stuff like that. So I have the base and then I'm literally just going to put the attachment in there. And then there's a little knob down on the bottom that you can use. And let me show you. So this is off and on. You can kind of see the light going through there. So this device essentially is using like a microcurrent to help your cells in your skin regenerate. It's also great for muscle toning. So if you have like fine lines or wrinkles starting to set in, it can help with that. And it is incredible for breakouts. You can go, it's actually a number one bestseller on Amazon. You can go check out the reviews, look at the before and afters, and see what a difference this tool makes. And it's super affordable. It's under $50. 
And I catch myself using this probably three times a week because I love it that much. And then I'm going to turn this on. I typically keep it on the lower settings, especially to start because it can give you a little bit of a shock if you turn it all the way up and then press it onto your skin. So if I decide that I want to increase the frequency and turn the gauge up, I will actually make sure it's on my skin and the contact is there before I turn it up. And I literally just go in an upward motion face. It says not to use it for more than five minutes on a specific area at a time. And this tool, like I said, if you're someone who struggles with adult acne or breakouts, like sometimes I get um, hormonal breakouts along my jaw and my chin. And literally I will just like put it right. It's usually like this area right here and I will hold it right over that area and they are gone like the next day. So it is incredible if you have breakouts, but it, I mean, it also has so many other benefits. Just the fact that it can help speed up the rejuvenation and the renewal of your skin cells is amazing. Mm -hmm.